Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create a view task details page for the employee module where the employee can see the task details, view the comments, comment on the task. So let's get started. I will copy all the code from the admin module because we have implemented the same functionality for the admin. So let's navigate to the VS code and I'm going to open the integrated terminal inside the components of the employee. Let me write here the command that is a ng g for generate c for component and name of the component that is a view hyphen task hyphen details. As you can see, the component created successfully. Let me close the PowerShell. Let me open here the employee routing module.ts and here I'm going to register the view task details component. So let me add here the path. If the path is task hyphen details slash colon ID, then we have to load here the component that is the view task details. Now let's go to the dashboard component of the admin. Let me copy this icon that is the visibility. Let me paste inside the dashboard component dot HTML of the employee. As you can see, the router link property on the visibility icon where we have a path that is a slash employee slash task details slash task id navigate to the browser as you can see the visibility icons added on the task cards let me click on this icon and it's navigating us to the view task details page of the employee where we are getting the id in the url let me click on the icon of this task as you can see the id that we got seven now on this page we have to call the endpoints from the spring boot to show the task details post comment and the get comments by task so let's navigate to the Spring Boot application and I'm going to copy the code from the admin controller that we have get task by ID, create comment and the get comments by task ID. Now let me copy these methods. Let me paste inside the employee controller where we have get task by ID, create comment and the get comments by task ID. We have to call these methods from the employee service. Let me update the instance of the service that is the employee service. Now let's go to the admin service. Let me copy these. Let me paste inside the employee service. After this, let's go to the employee service impl. And I'm going to copy these methods. First, we have get task by ID. Second, we have create comment. And the last, we have get comments by task ID. Let's go to the employee service impl. Let me paste after the update task method. On the top of the methods, I'm going to inject here the comment repository. So it will be a private final comment repository. As you can see, error removed. Now these are the three endpoints that I have copied from the admin controller. First, we have get task by ID, where we are calling the method from the employee service to get the get task by ID. After this, we have a create comment endpoint where we are calling the method from the employee service that is a create comment. As you can see. At the last, we have that is a get comments by task ID where we are calling the method from the employee service that is this one. Now let's run the Spring Boot application. Let's navigate to the VS code. Let me copy the code from the view task details component of the admin. Let me copy the HTML code. Let me paste inside the view task details component dot HTML of the employee. After this, we have a view task details component dot SCSS. Let me paste inside the SCSS file. Second last we have that is a view task details component dot TS. Let me paste inside the TS file. Now inside this, we have to inject the employee service. Let me import all of these. Now I'm going to copy the methods from the admin service that we have get task by id create comment and the get comments by task let me paste inside the employee service and i'm going to update the path of the endpoints that we have api slash employee instead of the admin same for the create comment and the get comments by task now i'm going to give the overview of the code that i have copied from the admin module as you can see the view task details component dot ts where we are getting the id from the url after this we have a three variables that we have task data comments and the comment form that we have initialized with the form group after this we have a constructor where we have injected the employee service activated route form builder and the mat snack bar this is the lifecycle hook that is ng on in it where we have initialized the reactive form on the top we are calling the 
two endpoints that we have get task by id and the get comments by task after this we have a two methods where we are calling the method from the employee service at the last we have a publish comment method where we are calling the method from the employee service to create the comment now let me open here the view task details dot html as you can see the div where we are showing the task details that we are getting by the id first we have title second we have description due date employee name priority and the task status after this we have a mat card to get the comment from the input at the last we have a div to show all the comments that we have in this task view task details component dot scss as you can see the styling properties now let's navigate to the browser and let's test the implementation as you can see, we are getting at the task details by ID. After this, we have a card to publish the comment. Like I'm going to publish the comment as an employee that is in progress. Let's click on the publish comment. And you can see the comment posted successfully. And we are getting here the comment that posted by the employee. Let's go back to the dashboard page. Let me click on the icon of this task. And we are getting here the comments that posted by the admin. Let me post a comment as an employee like Let's click on the publish comment and you can see we are getting the comment. So that's all for now from my side. This is the last part of our project. Thanks for watching. If you have any confusion, you can do comment. Thank you. Take care. Bye.